Well, nothing else needs to be said now. Champion versus champion. Eric Terrible Morales, Marco Antonio Barrera. And we talked about the odds earlier, Gennaro. Went all the way up to minus 600, which meant that Eric Morales was a heavy favorite. It has been reported, and in fact, it is a known fact that Ricardo Maldonado, the manager of Marco Antonio Barrera, put over $15,000 on his fighter. That's how much confidence they got on their fighter. I'm list I'm, I was hearing some of the people talk that Barrera's gonna go out there and wait that body. And we begin. And by the looks of it, there is no taking to see who's what, what, what plan we're going to be putting in play. Well, you see Barrera, two early body shots, stepping forward. No feeling out here, here in round number one. No feeling whatsoever. Barrera in the sequin trunks, Morales in the white and black. Yeah, well, we're looking at that Morales is trying to study a little bit, but Barrera just jumping right away to work. Barrera fighting like he's double parked. Backing up Morales with some hard shots. And you know what, one thing that, that, Barrera, that Morales has to do, he just has to calm down, he just has to relax. Let Barrera come in and do what he wants to do, but at the same time, be careful. Big left hand from Morales, stands Barrera right up. Barrera with a good body shot. And, those, and some of those shots are going down. Barrera has a good speed. He, he looks very, he looks with, with the deception to come in here and win by knockout. Some very sharp punches early on from Marco Antonio Barrera. And yeah, we're looking at a little bit of watery eyes on the part of Eric Morales. He's, he just got connected with a couple of good uppercuts by the by part of Barrera. Well, we talked about Marco Antonio Barrera. Does he need a fast start? Well, he got one. Well, there was no, no hesitating to see what he was going to do. He knew what he was coming to do, and that was to come in here and try to knock Morales out. There we see Morales land a pretty good right hand. A good counter punch by part of Morales. Heavy exchanging on the inside early and, on. Wait a minute, we're looking at a little slight cut, a little bit of blood on the part of Barrera uh, on the right eye. But it seems to be on the lower part of the eye. Right, but you also have to understand that even though it's down below the eye, with the punching that Morales do, it'll probably put it in the eye and disturb one little. There's a hit, but... Most of those shots blocked by Barrera. Good, good counter, good counter. Barrera working good to the body. He just got he just got connected with a good with a good lift. It didn't phase him at all. Two tough men standing toe to toe, hurting each other early on. Oh, there's a low blow by Morales. But we also have to understand that Barrera was holding his head down. So when the, when the punch was getting thrown, he pushed Barrera's head down, and that's what caused the low blow. There's a, a stiff jab by Barrera, which was blocked by, by, by Morales. There's a good body shot to the body by, by Barrera, which, which Morales blocked, and he counted with some good uppercuts. Morales is jumping back and forth, using feints. Barrera don't know whether he's going to be attacked or not. A spirited and round number one. We're looking at the replay right here where he gets connected with not too clean of a shot, but he got skinned by a good left hook by, by Morales. You could just really feel the velocity of the shot, even, a, even though they're not landing hard. Right, there was a couple of good stiff jabs by Barrera that landed on the nostrils of, of Morales. After all that, we still have 11 rounds scheduled to go. Round number two, Barrera Morales. It just doesn't seem like this fight is gonna go the 12 rounds, the whole distance. Well, I'm not so sure both men can keep the pace up. A very brisk round number one. Well, Marea started off a little more calmer this time. I guess he was just trying to pull, prove a point that he was going to come out here and fight in the first round. Right now, he started off with a couple of jams. You can just really see the focus in Barrera's eyes. Yeah, they're both really focused and seeing how they're going to, how they, what, what is their next move. Morales, like I was trying to faint, faking. There's a good fake right there. He should have thrown a jab. Pretend he was going to fake and throw a jab. But El yeah, never expected that. There was a good combination right there. If you're Morales with this quick start of Brer, do you start working off the jab on the outside? There's a good uppercut 
by, by Varela, which landed pretty clean in the face of Morales. And maybe that's why Morales should stick to the jab. He's getting raked over the coals pretty well on the inside by Barrera. He is. Right there, you see, he smothers his own self. He doesn't get the, the distance he needs to, to attack pretty good. Right there, at that distance, that's where Morales should be. Good because combination by Barrera. To the inside, Barrera is very good with those left uppercuts. The Barrera camp was insistent that they would show Eric Morales no respect, and they have been true to their promise. No and shot blocked. Yeah. And there's a good right uppercut. It seems... I'm not too sure whether I saw a little bit of blood. Those are little, little blows there that the referee never said anything about. Borderline shots by Barrera. Back up. Oh, big right hand. Big right hand. And another lift. You see, Morales cannot be in there doing this type of fight. Reason why? Because, you know, it makes Barrera grow. Why don't you just, you know, all right, he hit me. Why don't you just take your time and step back? You know, it's a trauma fight. Let him waste his energy. Barrera taking the fight to Morales early on. They both expected a real tough fight, and this is what they're getting. The people expected a good fight like this, and, you know, people come to see a good fight, and this is what they got. Good uppercut by, by Marina, which he got the counter, too, by a left, by a left hook that landed on the jaw of, of Marina, too. Morales, Morales trying to work his way in little by little, trying to do uppercuts. I don't think there's any doubt, though, Gennaro. Barrera has earned the respect of Morales, and that was a question coming in. Yes, and also, I'm pretty sure that, that, that Morales, that Barrera knows that Morales can take a pretty good shot because he's gotten hit several times already with, with good right hands. There's another good right hand by part of Morales. By me, by, by Barrera. Barrera can hit a good right hand. So, many questions about Marco Antonio Barrera have been answered throughout the first two. It's early, but right now it's Barrera's fight. Morales is trying to move away. Barrera walking, walking forward. There's a stiff jab and a good right hand that connected real good. It didn't do anything to Morales, but he continued to walk. There's a counter punches by, by Morales. Barrera reaching in, he gets connected with a good right. And there's some good shots that were landed by Barrera on the face of Morales. Gennaro, it looks like Marco Antonio Barrera is just walking down Eric Morales. Should Morales be making more use of that jab? I think what Morales should be doing is when, when, when Barrera steps in, he, he should step back with a good right uppercut and, and, a, and step to the side with a good left uppercut. We begin round number three. Yeah, we're looking at Morales. They told him to step, you know, to box, to box, and that's what he comes out doing right now. He's using his jab. But I do believe that once, once uh, Marea throws a punch and he kind of swings it. And there is a slip as Barrera misses a left hand. Mitch Halpern gets right back into action. Yeah, well, once he swings and he connects to the shoulder, so I think Morales will stop again and try to prove to him that, you know what, we're going to fight and we're not gonna, I'm not going to run. And there you see Terrible Morales again, which has been the habit today, really smothering his own right hand. Barrera so consistent to the body. And that's something that, said, that they said they were going to do. Try to work the body, try to take the legs away from, from Morales. They're, te they're telling Morales from, the, from his corner, you know what, take it easy, take, relax, relax. There he gets connected with a good uppercut. See, he's reaching in. You see, he smothers his way in. And Barrera knows that he's going to come in, so he stays with his head tucked in, and the shots don't get in very easy. Throughout the first two and a half rounds, it has been Marco Antonio Barrera with harder, cleaner punches on the inside. Right there, he threw a good lift, a good stiff lift jab, but he missed that lift hook, trying to work it off that jab. There's some good work. You see, there's where he smothers his own self. He, he doesn't get his little distance right there. Marco Antonio Barrera relaxing. There's a good body Ooh. shot. A good body shot. Well, by, you could just feel that. But it was partially blocked. That's why he didn't hurt Morales. And there's a right hand to the body by Barrera. Morales trying to trying to trying to bring in Barrera. Barrera likes that type of fight, so he's going to get in there. He's going to stick that that head right on the shoulder. That way he won't get connected by any any powerful point by by Morales. And we see right there. He smothers Mor Morales. Morales, without him knowing, is wasting energy because Barrera is putting his pressure on. He's leaning on him. And he doesn't give any room for Morales to throw that power punch. A lot of these shots by Morales block or smothered. 
That's what Morales should be doing. There you go. There's some, there's some shots that you see are being low blows. There, he gets connected, but he also kind of punches very good right there. Here comes Barrera, cleaner shots on the inside. Morales trying to use the side steps, trying to move away, trying not to get, and there he's getting connected without, you see, he's using very, there is a punch that he should be using right there. Just very, go right there, just step, step back, side to side, move. Toe to toe action. Barrera and Morales, giving and taking, back There's and forth. There's a good pick up by, by Morales. He's trying to reach in there, but he missed. He didn't throw the punch out probably because he saw about it now getting ready to block that punch. Gennaro, Barrera is not fighting like a 6 to 1 underdog. You take a look at some of the action from round yeah, here we three. See, here we see Morales moving, sidestepping, a couple of shots, you know, hitting the borderline. There's some uppercuts on behalf of Morales. On the other angle, we see. Morales, again, feigning, throwing some good shots, partially blocked by, by Barrera. There's some punches that might have got in, but very few got in. There's the one right there, a right up because that landed pretty good. I'd say throughout the first three rounds, the cleaner punching has been done by Barrera. Barrera, yes. We begin round number four, and do you sense that maybe Eric Morales is a little bit stunned by the fury of Marco Antonio Barrera? I don't think he's stunned. I think what he's trying to do, he's trying to find out how he, how he can connect some good shots. Barrera has a good defense. There's a shot right there that Barrera threw, but he missed, and he was countered. Didn't connect too solid, but Morales did connect quite a uh, little punch in. Now you see a more aggressive Morales. There's a good right hand. hand. Barrera. A good right hand. And Morales slips down as he tries to pin Barrera up along the ropes. The reason what, it, what happened there was that Morales was busy, so busy trying to use his foot step that when Barrera bounced off the ropes, he crashed, and Barrera, I mean, Morales didn't have the footing, and he fell. There's a good side step with a good left uppercut. It was a minor little touch, but you know, it connected. They're telling Morales over here in the corner to try to throw the right hand a little bit more. There's a good left uppercut. And you see Barrera pulling down on the head of Morales, really just trying to steadily wear out uh, Morales. Yeah, but it, uh, with the experience that he got, he's making Morales pay for the, for, for the miss. And that's by him pulling him down. Morales moving, sidestepping. Good right hand by Barrera and a good overhand right hand. And he by, backs up by Morales. Morales not knowing, not knowing what he has to do to get Barrera off from him. There's some good body work right there by, by Barrera. Morales on the, against the ropes, using some uppercuts. No shots really getting cleaned in. There's one right there that was partially blocked. Morales throwing overhand right that was blocked. There's some jabs. Not connecting very well, but yeah, using his body weight, movement, his head movement, and making Morales miss a lot. Now Morales backing up right up along the ropes, and again he smothers himself, and distance has been a problem for Terrible Morales. Oh, very low oh. blow. Good uppercut by, by Morales that connected very good on the jaw of uh, Barrera. Well, there had been some questions about the chin of Barrera. I think he's There's answered another those. good body shot. Those body shots are working pretty, they're, 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 some of them are pretty low and the referee has not been seen them, but like that one that hit the leg on. Barrera has been so consistent and he finally gets warned by referee Mitch Halpern. And I'm pretty sure Morales expected something like this because you know when there's a fight like this, you know you have to do whatever it takes to win this fight. And if the referee's not going to tell anything, you're going to continue doing it. Well, I think if there's one question about Morales' toughness was could he take a sustained body attack, I think we're going to find out tonight. We're, we're going to find out how, how well and how much of that body shot he's going to be able to take. Because partially are being blocked by the elbow, but we're going to have to see how much he's going to take. Oh, another low blow. And that was really a, a low blow by low Barrera. Blow. Barrera finishing off the round. Right here, Morales. Reaching in with the right, connecting pretty good, launching in, and there's a little side steps that, that he was doing. There's the connectors right there, a couple of shots to the body. There's an overhand right and a left uppercut that connected pretty good. And we see the clean punching of Marco Antonio Barrera. And looking at his face, the cut under the eye has not affected him. And it looks like his face is in pretty good shape throughout the first four rounds. Yeah, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a good fighter with, a good, with good defense. And there's no doubt Marco Antonio Barrera has staying power. If you take a look at his fight against Kennedy McKinney in 96, voted one of the fights of 1990s, took a sustained beating from Kennedy McKinney before turning down the rugged challenger. Right there, 
Morales throws a couple of jabs with a good lift that landed partially blocked, but it, but it did connect. There's a good right hand that landed on the back. Morales using his jab, but they're not trying to wait. He's jabbing himself. Morales moving, sticking his jab out. There, he stays there without throwing a punch, and he got connected with a good right uppercut by, by Barrera. And now there seems to be some blood over the nose of Morales, and he eats a good right hand. But right there, Morales, Morales wasn't having an exchange right there. Heavy exchange on the ropes, Morales working well, fighting off the ropes. The only bad thing about Morales is that he's dropping his hands while, and he's throwing wild. He's connecting some good shots, but at the same time, he's being connected. Right there, he sticks a good left jab. Oh, good right good hand right by Barrera. Right. There's a good uppercut, a good right uppercut. Right there, he shouldn't have stopped. He should have started, stepped again, and with another right. It seems like it might be some blood coming out of Barrera's nose, too. No, I'm wrong. Heavy exchange is Morales good coming shot. on. See those little side steps? You see, if you stay there in front of Barrera, he's going to beat you up. But if you use side steps, you'll, you'll hurt Barrera. Morales coming on. Barrera shaking for the first time. Good, over, good overhand right. But you see, there's another good right hand. Another good right hand. You see, Morales is sidestepping, so he's not giving any opportunity for Valera to connect any shots. Because Valera, what he's looking for is for somebody to stay right in front of him that way he can connect those uppercuts. Good uppercut by Valera. Here comes I mean, Morales. Morales is, he has, he has Valera pretty stubborn, pretty dazed a little. Oh, oh big right hand. He's connected with good solid shot. Barrera does good. Morales doesn't look like he's hurt. But there we go again. We're going to see which one has a stronger job. This is a battle of attrition. Who is going to outlast each other? Champion versus champion. And both Swing of them fighting like champions. Swinging from the heels. Half a minute to go, round number five. How long can they last? It seems like both of them got tired during, during all that pressure and all that fighting that they were doing. They were swinging away. There. Uh-oh. He, he swings it. Both of these fighters, they know that they're in there for a war tonight. They've been connected with good, very good shots. It looked like they kind of wore down a little bit. But they, uh, Morales is moving. There comes a little couple of shots that, that, were, that were thrown by Morales that, that missed. There's, more, there's another shot. That's the... Well, an early candidate for round of the year. Round number five was a doozy. Right now, Morales here with the overhand right. There's a straight right that connected. Shots that were being blocked. There's a good right uppercut, a good left. I mean, a right hook. There's a couple of shots there that were thrown. But then here comes Marina. Barrera coming in there, working his way. Ooh. Left hook, right, straight, right, left, left uppercut. But Morales trying to hold on, dropping his hands, getting connected with good left hooks and rights. And that really changed the round for Barrera, who was taking a shellacking up until that point. Do we begin round number six? It's been a doozy. Well, we knew in the beginning of the first round when they weren't giving each other respect that there was going to be no respect in this fight. Well, I think obviously, they don't got it. I think Barrera took the play from Morales early, and I think it's up to Morales to really battle back. And there's another low blow that, that the referee tells Barrera to pick up those blows. I do believe that some of those shots that have that, that been up below the belt have affected Morales. Good right here by Barrera. Barrera. There is another exchange again. Good uppercut by, by Morales. One thing that Barrera is doing good is he's moving to, Barrera, to Morales' right. That way he can take the power away from that left hook or from that left uppercut. Good left uppercut and good body shot by Barrera. Barrera so consistent with that left hook to the body. Morales, literally, he's, he's trying to work the head and not the body. He's not trying to take no power away from those punches. He's just constantly looking for the, for the head and not, and not no body work. And I do believe that that's something that Morales should be doing, is working to the body. There's a good right hand that was thrown, but it was blocked by the left, by the left elbow of Barrera. Good lift, and good lift hook, and a good lift to the body. But here comes Barrera. Morales right back. You know, I never, I never thought that Barrera was going to react the way he has in this fight. 
after he got Charlotte, I mean, not the way he got hit the way he did when he fought jo uh, Junior Jones and Kenny McKinney. But obviously, Morales is Morales like, is good. You know, he has good power, but he's not holding holding Barrera back at all. Barrera just threw a good right hand to the body. And right now, he just got connected by a left hook in part of Morales. Morales is chasing Barrera now. Barrera taking steps back, not moving or jumping or, or running. He's just taking steps back. He's not wasting energy that's going to cost him probably later on in the fight. Barrera with the more subdued round here in round number six. It has been Terribly Morales pressing the action. Barrera, try, Barrera, Morales trying to reach in and Barrera sticking his jab and Morales crashing into it. We know, I'm noticing that you see you, Morales, is, is, when he comes in, he comes in with his hands dropped. And that's why Barrera counters him and he counters him with good shots. Morales should be with his hands up when he attacks, not going in there with his hands low. Another low blow right there, referee not saying anything about it. A good uppercut and a good body shot by, by Barrera. Halfway through, it's anybody's fight. Marco Antonio does not look like he's been, like if he's suffering to get air, to grasp air. But then Morales, on the other hand, he Double seemed over. a little, he's, he seemed a little down, a little down. I'm not sure whether he's disappointed in the performance that he's doing and, uh, and how he's getting hit. He just got connected again with a good left uppercut. And a good right by, by Barrera, they connected good on the jaw, uh, Morales. It may be that, that, he's, that he's having trouble trying to get air from the nose. There's a good uppercut by Morales. A good right hand by Morales while Barrera was coming in. There's a good exchange right there. Good uppercuts. They're trying, they're trying him to open up that guard. Barrera has a good close guard, and that's something that is giving Morales trouble to connect on. There we see, there we see him going forward, connecting. Try. There's a body shot, there's some uppercuts on part of uh, Barrera. Most of these shots being smothered by Barrera. Morales working hard though on the inside. Barrera presses forward. See. Well, that, they're, they're trying to scream at Morales to do some movements, not to stay. You see, there is a mistake that Morales is doing right there. He leans back and he drops his hands. And he's he, getting connected pretty good with some left rights. And he got nailed with some good, solid right hands that stiffened him up on the ropes. Very impressive performance from Barrera. Good right uppercut. Morales comes back with an exchange of his own with right, with right hooks, right hooks. He's trying to get Morales to drop that handle to open up that guard, something that he's unable to do. There's a couple of shots there to the body. And the, oh, there's another good shot. There's a, there's a good overhand right that was partially blocked by Barrera. Morales throwing good uppercuts with hooks, good shots. Barrera, though, been very consistent while blocking shots going downstairs to Morales. You know, that's something that's going to give uh, Morales a very difficult time if he can't get that guard to open up. He's going to have to continue throwing. There's a good left uppercut in part of Barrera that connected pretty good. See, Barrera smothers him, and he doesn't give Morales a chance to get away. He stays right on top of him. But you see, there's a problem with Morales that he should be, he should stick his head underneath the chin of Barrera. Don't leave Barrera stick the, his head in underneath your, underneath the chin of, uh, of Morales. You know, you get in there and you, you make him try to find a way to get in there. There he goes again, right back to the right back to the body. But to me, it seemed like it was like a low blow right there. Referee didn't see it, so he couldn't call it. Morales has to stay away from the from the ropes. He can't stay there and try to exchange punches. You just wonder when Mitch Halpern will step in and take a point away from Brer, who's been consistently low the whole night. Right now, Morales trying to stick a jab in there. But Morales tried to counter, didn't quite connect any punches. It's. Another good, another good right uppercut by, by, by Morales. Oh, oh good shot, it's stung. It's stung Morales. It's stung Morales. Right here we see Morales, Morales against the ropes. There he is, counter punching, counter punching. But as you can see, Morales is not giving him enough room to get his punching power to get. You know, he doesn't get the distance enough to get that power. Barrera, there he goes. He continues to go forward. There is Morales. There, look at the hands where the hands are at. They're constantly being dropped, and there's the end of the round with the with a good left hook that stung Morales. But Morales swings 
That way, the referee could say, you know what, I'm okay, I'm, I'm countering punches, and, and we're going to start the round like this. That was a very close round. Was that enough for Marco Antonio Barrera to steal that round? Still a very close fight between Morales and Barrera. It has lived up to every single expectation. Well, I'll do, with all due respect to, to Morales, I do believe that he's, 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 he's on the low side of the car, on the score charges, I, I believe. He's going to have to get in there, try to find a way to, to take advantage, to take control of this fight from here on now. It seems like Gennaro is very disciplined within this wild fight. He is still holding his guard up high, picking his shots, and smothering Morales when he needs to. You know, Barrera came with, 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 the, with, the, with, the game plan. with the game plan already said that he was going to smother Morales and that he wasn't going to give him that opportunity to, re to use the reach. On the other, on the other hand, Morales... I don't understand why he's not trying to figure out a way to use his distance. Oh, he's there's gonna, a good he right hand. Hit the, well, go over hand right by Barrera. Every time Barrera seems to be in some trouble, he just comes forward and smothers Morales. He's been very effective throughout the night. Yeah, right here you see Barrera not wasting no energy, just staying there waiting, waiting, making Morales come to him. He's not reaching in. He's not doing nothing. You see this little step back he takes? Morales has to reach in, and when he does, Barrera counter punches. That's something that he's doing very good to, in, today in this fight. There we see, there we see finally Barrera move a little bit, try to jump a little bit, but as usual, he's right, spe he's right back to his little one-two steps. Good oh, right hand. Good Morales, one two. Morales getting ready to do a side step or trying to step back. He didn't do the full step, so he got caught with a good right hand. Another, Another one good two right by hand. Barrera. Yeah. This right here is where Morales doesn't want to be because he's dropping his hands. Well, Why think, can he connect this so much? I think the bottom line is Barrera is now simply out fighting Morales, out thinking him also. Yeah, he, he, it seems to me that, Bar that Barrera seems a little more stronger than, than Morales does in this fight. And he has a heavier punch. And with all those borderline shots, Mitch Halpern has not taken any points away from Barrera, really allowing him to stay within that game plan. But I tell you, once again, I'm going to throw that to, to, to Morales' corner. Why aren't they telling him to work the body? Why aren't they telling him to throw that left to the body? They're telling him to throw. Right now, they just got, I just got to hear in one of his corner men throw, say, throw a straight right to the stomach. Good. That was a good shot. But you see what Barrera's doing. He's not giving Morales any chance. He's holding him, he's struggling him. He's making him waste energy by pulling him down. There's another shot to the body, another one low. There's another one low right there. Mitch Alvin can't see him. There was a couple of shots there that I believe Mitch Alvin saw, but he didn't say anything. Oh, again, big combination. There's another combination, both for the disc going toe to toe. Wow. I think that speaks for itself. Oh, yeah. Toe to toe action. Of course, you have to, with, a, with, with Morales, you're going to have to figure a way to use your distance, something, something that he's, they, he's not using at all. Well, here we come, the championship rounds. This is a test of wills between Barrera and Morales. And I'm going to tell you why Morales cannot do it, and that's because Barrera is using a good defensive technique going forward with his hands closed, making Morales miss, and making him reach in at the same time while he's being countered. There we see. Oh, oh he just got he just walked into a good hill. Morales is a game fighter. He's getting connected. It seems like he's getting hurt, but at the same time, with the condition he got, he's been able to take those punches, and we see him trying to come back. The nose of Eric Morales is now bleeding profusely with the attack of Barrera. No, he got connected again. Here see, comes Barrera. Comes again. Barrera pouring it on. It, you know, it just seems that it's just a matter of time where Barrera's power is just going to overpower I Morales. think this is pre-Junior Jones vintage Marco Antonio Barrera that we are seeing. You know, here the people are screaming for Barrera. You know, a lot of people were cheering for Morales. There we, we see Morales trying to counter and trying to calm down the people saying that, you know what, don't go for Barrera. I'm, you know, I'm here. I'm here to fight. And he's connecting some good shots. There's a good lift. Partially blocked by Barrera. We're, look, we're looking here at, the, at this fight, and you know, and we're seeing the damages that's been done. Well, here comes Morales, though, pouring it on. 
Guerrero with a little bit of a dead spot here in his action. The, the face of Morales is speaking that, you know, that he's, that he's been in a hard fight. He's been getting connected with some real good shots. Morales on the other. Oh, oh we just see a, a, a little cut on the left, on the left cheekbone of Barrera. Guerrero comes forward, though. I have a feeling. Oh, there's a real bit. It's as nasty because it's swelling up real big time on him. We're gonna hope. We're gonna hope that this fight is not gonna end on the cut. It's been a real good, exciting fight. He's being connected right now. There's right hand. They believe that 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 Barrera is gonna get hurt because of that because of that cut in the right. You just get off. the feeling though, Barrera. His will is so strong look at, tonight. Look at what he's doing. He's making Morales waste energy. He's holding him down until the referee tells him to let go. Morales just got connected with a good overhand right by part by Barrera. Morales going forward. And look like he got a little bit of energy. He just got connected with a good right hand. I don't understand why Morales is not picking up those hands. I just think that he's been comfortable in throughout his throughout these several to his career with his hands down that he's been connected and, and he don't care. Oh. He, he just reached in and got connected. He's hurt. He is hurt. Three punch combination turns around again for Barrera. It was Barrera early, Morales late. Barrera took the play with that three punch counter punch combination. Right here. He got connected with a good left hook, good right. He didn't eyes. know the straight punches. Now he contained him to throw him into hooks. There we go right here. We're seeing that Barrera is getting ready to, Morales is getting ready to throw that. There he got connected with that good right hand that got him, and all because he was reaching in. He's hurt right there. If, if, the, if the bell wouldn't have been able to say I think in the round, he would have been dropped. Well, Barrera finally showing the effects of a physical fight with Eric Morales with a cut on the left cheek, but he comes forward. And we're seeing well, Morales trying to, trying to tell uh, Barrera, you know what, you might have hurt me in the last round, but you know what, I'm still here to fight. Good body shot by, by Morales, the good body shot by, by Morales, which were blocked by Morales at the same time. I think it's safe to say this is the most danger Eric Morales has ever faced in his career, and it's been an illustrious one at that. 35 this, fights, 35 wins. He's been getting hit a, a lot by Barrera with some good solid shots. He's been hurt several times. Neither one of them wants to go down. But then again, we're looking at that Barrera has been doing a lot more punishment than, than, than Morales has. We see the, the damage that's been done on, Mar on Morales' face. There Big. was a low shot right there that the referee didn't say none. That was a borderline shot right to the belt by Barrera. It's been consistent with that the whole night. There again, we see Morales reaching in with the overhand, with the overhand right, whereas the left hand is being dropped. He's vulnerable to get caught again. There's a good, good one-two combination by, by Morales when Morales was reaching in. He just doesn't seem to have the same snap he had a couple rounds ago. I think the effects of Barrera's power has really sapped some of the starch out of Eric Morales. No, most definitely, you know, when, with, with the body attack and, and the, I mean, the punishment that he's been receiving and, and the, the weight that he has to bring carrying around, because Morales is carrying his weight and plus he's carrying the weight of, of Barrera. There oh. again, another good right hand. Good right hands by, by both fighters. They were being, both being connected at the same time. Morales, Morales landing the better two punches off. So Morales with a brave, courageous round number 10 after being rocked late in round number nine has really bounced back well. And I'm really noticing that Morales is leading off more with the right hand than with is with, with a jab. I believe that they're telling him in the corner that, you know what, that right hand is going to do the damage. Keep uh -oh. And there we saw a couple of shots right there. Now we're going to see Another exchange of one, two, and see which one has the bigger heart and which one doesn't want to Both go down. Both men eating right here. There we go. Again. He rocks Morales. He rocks Morales. But you know, I got I to gotta say that, but now Morales is off. He's, his balance wasn't there. And Morales and Morales being, is pushing himself forward. There he got connected again. There is a good shot of now part of Morales. But there you see the smothering of Barrera. Wasting time, killing the clock. You think Barrera's on top. This definitely hurts the cause of Morales. He may be running out of time. And also he's make, and Barrera's making Morales waste his energy by putting all the weight on top of him. There's some body shots right there. The a part of Morales, uh, I mean, a, a part of Barrera was connected on the elbow of Morales. There's a jab, a good right. We're gonna see it. Hope, Maybe another one, two punch action, which we didn't see because the belt came to, to help this, this Two round. rounds to go. It's all on the line. I don't
don't think anyone's going to ask for a refund tonight. It has been spectacular action. Ten down, two to go. Ferreira Morales, round number 11. And this is what you call a unification fight. Toe to toe action here. Two warriors trying to get in there, trying to prove to one another that they're the better fighter. Both of them getting hurt, but mostly Morales coming out with, uh, with the more damage to done to him. This has been a physical, bruising, pounding fight. It's been a battle of attrition between two tough men. Marco Antonio Barrera, Eric Morales. Well, Barrera just got through getting connected with a good hand, and he comes back to connect one of his own. A good straight right hand down the pipe from Barrera. There we go again to the ropes. Morales not wanting to stay there. He's moving side to side now. There's a right to the body. Barrera holds on. Gennaro, it doesn't look like that cut underneath the cheek has really affected Barrera. Well, at least not yet because the good, the good defense, but here's the, here's the problem that, that uh, Morales is having. He's being pummeled to the body by, by Barrera, something that he's never, he's never suffered before. And the nose continues to bleed profusely for Eric Morales. Good, another good body shot. A good left uppercut by Morales, which connected on the, on the face of uh, Barrera. They're telling, they're telling Morales to throw that, that right to the body right here in the corner, but Morales continues to throw uppercuts and right hooks, which is the way, which are connecting, but you know, they're wanting to work the body too, and something he's not doing. On the corner over that Barrera, they're telling him, they look very short. I'm looking at that one of his cornermen telling him to go forward, go forward. There's a good right uppercut, good left, uh, good right hook. Reaching in, missing. Barrera again to the body. A good uppercut while Morales was trying to make a little side step. Morales, uh, Barrera caught him with a good uppercut. Barrera has not been as busy, but he's been a little bit more precise, a little bit more accurate in his punching. Morales out hustling him this round, but I'm not so sure he's doing the more damage of the two. Well, most of the punches that Morales is throwing there, they're being blocked. They're being blocked by the arms of Barrera. Barrera again smothering him. He's wasting time. Good right hand, reaching right hand by Morales, which connected. There's a good stiff lift jab by Barrera. See, look at the little steps that, that Michael Tony Barrera is taking. He's just taking two steps back, making Morales reach in. Like right there. He missed the counter punching, but he, he was able to hold on. And just a moment ago, he landed a good straight now one, we're too. Now we're looking at that Morales may be cut. Maybe cut. A good body shot to the body that kind of hurt. Oh, I think Morales is back. hurt. He backs up. That he, definitely hurt him. Oh, yes. Now, he's Morales. In movements. now you see Morales on his bicycle. I do believe it's saying that body shot hurt him, and also the blood that he has on that right, on the right side of his face, is going to be bothering now. Oh, good left hook by Barrera, finishing off the round. Barrera finishing this round. And people told me that what, you know what, Morales is not going to be able to handle the punishment that he's going to receive to the waist, and that's something that's showing right here. You look at the other corner over here, Morales, and Morales has been in the war. Three minutes. Barrera Morales. What a war. Okay, now they're talking to each other, saying something that another one, even neither one of them likes. I said, I figured they said, you know what? Let's go toe to toe. And oh, here comes the Barrera. And there we go. Big body shot. Shots. Morales. They must have told Morales. You know what? You listen to this fight. Go toe to toe. Oh, big left Good hook shot. By Barrera. Good shots that just hurt. They just hurt Morales. Well, I think that he, he may have starched the energy of Morales. Whatever he has left, those big left hooks. Barrera has fought a spectacular fight. You know, you have to take your hat off of both fighters. Both fighters don't want to go down. They're both receiving punishment. More on the hands of Morales, who's, who's taking the more punishment, as you can see. Body shots are just devastating. They're just taking everything out of it. There we see Morales land a good right hand. And also being cut, I believe, in the, in the, right, in the right cheekbone. A little bit of blood coming out of there. Morales using steps, steps. But you know what? He's going to have to go in there and just slug it out. Because you know what? I believe that he is down on the scorecards. He's losing this fight. He's going to have to go in there and play it, give it his all. They're telling Morales not to jump. They're I telling him not to jump. I think the sport. physical nature of this fight is written all over the face of Eric Morales. It says it all. You know, a lot of people, including myself, had a little bit of doubt on, on Marela, you know, after the fight that he had against Junior Jones and Kenny McKinney, you know, the, feet, the, the punishment that he received. But right here, he showed that he could give it this time. Well, He's not receiving any of it tonight. I don't think there's any doubt. He has outfought and outfought Eric Morales. You know, I, you know, they're talking about that, you know, that Morales is going to be moving up and way. Maybe he had the problem. Maybe that isn't the favor. But you know what? You're going to have to throw all this out because Marela came in here 
with good condition. Morales the same way, and both fighters are here at 100%, 100% plus in condition here, Wise. Well, I don't think there's any excuses, and there's no reason to be ashamed on either side, but Barrera has fought a great fight tonight. Both fighters have fought a great fight tonight, even though Morales is the one that's coming out at the end stick of the, uh, you know, at the end of the stick tonight. He's being pummeled, he's being out, outsmarted, and he's being outsprinted by Barrera. Under a minute to go, it's been a great one. Champion versus champion, it's lived up to every single billing. And oh, oh. just hurt Morales with a good left hook. This is punishment that I don't think, you know, it should be taken, but you know, they're fighting. Morales is moving. He's going, look, they're telling him to close the fight. It was, oh, cool. he just got that drunk. He just got drunk. And you know what? And some of it had to do with the balancing. And he's hurt. You see, he's hurt. Morales is hurt. It all he's started in the opposite corner with two big left hands. Barrera has 20 seconds. Oh, Morales though, showing hard. Look Morales. at this. He doesn't want to go down. He figured that that was a knockdown. He was going to show the people that he was okay. But we saw it in, the, in his legs that he didn't have it underneath him. There won't be a knockdown. Barrera finishing off. Morales Both for standing the fighters. brave. Both for the fighters deserve a hand of applause. What a fight! There's, there we see. You see, there's. He's off balance right there. I do believe that he was rammed against yeah. the body of uh, Barrera. Uh, wasn't that just general fatigue over 12 it rounds? It was both, but as you can see, you know, Barrera's coming forward, he's coming forward, Morales reaches in, there we see, there is no punch there, there is a knee, there yeah. is no punch there. Right, I definitely think... But there is fatigue and the and the power of Morales going forward and, and Barrera going forward at the same time, clashing. But I don't think there's any doubt Barrera had the better 12th round, cleaner, sharper right, punching. Yes. Yeah, more definitely. He, Here's a decision. A round of applause, please. But we're for two fighters that are 122 pounds that, that fought their the hearts out here. That he's ever been in. And he went over there to talk to Morales. And they do deserve this round of applause. And we have a split decision. Oh, split decision. Dwayne Ford scores the bout 114 to 113 for Barrera. Harold Castellano scores the belt, 114 to 113 for Morales. And Dolly Shirley scores the belt, 115 to 112 for the unified champion by split decision, Pesonanotre, Tijuana, Mexico, Well, there you have it. Terrible.